Good morning, and welcome to Good Morning Humans, the morning show where we talk about what it's like to be human. Julie, are you a human? Yes, I am, Anna. You know, we just met a whole bunch of humans that are your American team, and we are going to be talking about the different experiences that being human present. Julie, what would you say are the most unique aspects of being human? Well, first of all, the thing that we're doing right now talking, communicating, the ability to use language. It is so amazing that humans can do that. Absolutely. Language is very unique to humans. Uh, the complexity of language and the ability to learn lots of languages. It's really cool. What else, Julie? Well, for another thing, this video. Have you ever seen a cat take a video of itself? Technology. <laughs> the ability to make tools like a video camera or a phone is just so amazing. Something that only humans do. That's for sure. Human inventions are so complex and unique and solve so many problems. That's a really unique part of being human is our creativity and our problem solving. Is there anything else you can think of? Hmm. Let me think. Well, I do think that the types of homes that we build, the monuments, you don't see a fox making a sculpture of another fox. That just doesn't happen. That's for sure. I mean, we've got Pablo Picasso, we've got uh, Monet and Manet, we've got Renoir and Rembrandt. We have so many amazing artists that were human. The human capacity to create and enjoy beautiful things, oh man, it is such a unique part of being a human being. You know what else is really unique to humans? What's that, Anna? Relationships. I mean, have you ever met a monkey who has who was best friends with a fox? I haven't. I think humans have the capacity to relate to each other and create friendships and family units. We are very, uh, community oriented as people. So relationships is another one. Can you think of anything else? Hmm. Let's see, we talked about creativity, uh, travel. I mean, we can't travel right now because we're the only creature on the planet worried about a pandemic. That's right, it's true. But when things are going normal, humans are the only ones that travel for fun, for pleasure, for meeting other human beings. Other animals just do it for survival or from instinct. Absolutely. There are definitely traveling animals, but we do definitely do it just for pleasure. The other thing I was thinking about was, you know, humans, we make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Anna. You know, I don't know uh, any bunnies who have created havoc in the environment. Have you met any? No, I haven't. And you know, speaking of mistakes, I forgot to brush my teeth this morning oh. because I slept in and had to rush to come here. My goodness. Julie, I forgive you for that mistake. Thank you. Forgiveness. That's another great thing that animals don't really do. I mean, they might forget that you've done something bad, but you know, your cat can't come up to you and put its paw on its shoulder and then tell you, you know, I forgive you for filling my food bowl three seconds late this morning. They can't communicate uh -uh. those words. We I just have to assume. Yeah. Uh, we are definitely filled with mistakes and create a lot of brokenness in this world. And that's very unique to humans, very unique. So anyway, this week we are talking about what it's like to be human. And we want you to enjoy your English class discussions about this topic and all the unique ways of what it's like to be human. We hope you enjoy it this week. And as you get started, um, maybe you can introduce yourself. We are standing in a unique place where we live as humans. This town is called Prescott, Arizona. And uh, we, we showed you a little bit about it. It's a beautiful old west town filled with lots of cowboy legends. 
and um, Native American history, and we love it here. It's great. It's beautiful. Maybe someday you can come visit us. And why don't you take this time after you introduce yourselves to talk about your town and some of the places that you like to visit there. Absolutely. Well, we wish we were there in person to hear your stories and understand your unique experience of being human. But for now, we'll have to talk to you online. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you later. Bye.